Hi ladies, how are you? I had a question about an FUS, which is a focused ultrasound. This is a question that was concerned about having a fibroid that has grown after having had that procedure done and wondering if because of the growth of the fibroid, is there still enough uterus left for any other procedures I'm assuming to be done? And the answer is yes. Our fibroid um, is not destroying the uterus. Like it's not taking a, a snake turn through the uterus and twisting it up and messing up with it. Think of uh, a, a baby growing in the uterus. Babies, I was nine pounds, five ounces. Babies can be really big. And the baby grows in the uterus and it has to stretch. Your uterus can stretch to be paper thin, okay? It can hold a lot, trust me. There are women who have twins, triplets. There was an octomom that had eight babies in there at one time. So all of that was inside of her uterus. So you always have room inside of your uterus. Never let any doctor tell you that you don't have enough room or think that you don't have enough room. There's always something that can be done that can preserve your uterus. You just have to fight for that doctor that believes in that and you have to keep fighting until you get the answers that you need. Soon I'll be able to offer you all an opportunity to contact me, consult with me, and I would love to be able to hear about your situations individually and find out really what's going on and give you better insight. There is another procedure if uh, this one did not work for you. It's called Assessa. Assessa, I have a friend that just recently had the Assessa procedure. I had not heard of it before, but Assessa is minimally evasive, which means there is a small incision, laparoscopic, a centimeter in size, and pretty much a guided needle is inserted into the fibroid and it is destroyed that way. It has a radio, you know, energy, radio frequency, radio frequency that pretty much goes in there and destroys the actual fibroid. The fibroid is not removed. It is destroyed. And as it starts to die and dissolve, the body just reabsorbs it and the fibroids are gone. You can get up and walk in days afterwards. And it's no open cutting. You still have your uterus. It's still intact. And that's called assessa. That's spelled A C E S S A. So, like I said, I had a friend just actually recently um, had the procedure done. So, I'll be doing a case study on that. And I'll let you guys know um, how it's going and uh, my thoughts on it. The focused, ultra, the focused ultrasound pretty much is done while you're awake. So the other procedure, you do have some, you you know, you have anesthesia, you're done. It's in and out day surgery. The focused ultrasound, you're awake while it's done. It's pretty much a guided ultrasound and it's sending energy to the fibroid. It may not have worked for you. I had a hysteroscopic myomectomy done three times which is pretty much you go in vaginally and you try to remove the fibroids that way I had it done three times and it didn't work and let me tell you something the fibroids kept growing and they just kept getting bigger by the time I had surgery and they were actually removed I found out that I had seven I actually had 17 tumors that were inside of me so they were able to get 17 out and these 17 were intramural and intramural is um, sort of like, <laughs> I know this seems strange, but okay, Halloween is gone. But if I were to take this pen and stick it through this side of my cheek and you could see it like, you know, in my mouth. <laughs> I know that seems strange, but intramural is just that it, it passes through from this inner area here to the inside. I know this is strange, but I only have one hand, so I hope this works. But so it's 
or sort of like, you know, this piercing, it just, it just goes through to one side. It doesn't destroy my nose. It's just passing through. And, um, yes, that fibroid just simply has to be cut open, um, and just removed out of the lining of the uterus. And it is literally just, uh, stitched back up again. So yes, you always have room. Just remember the analogy of how big babies can get. Um, and the uterus is huge. The uterus is the most powerful muscle inside the woman's body. We got, we got a powerhouse going on here. There were lots of women who had their uterus removed because technology and medical sciences just were not there yet. And there were some other reasons too that it's a, that would be an entirely different um, video about women's health and women's rights and certain populations that had to really protect their uterus from crazy doctors who were doing all kinds of, um, you know, things, unthinkable things. But where we are now and what I'm trying to encourage you all to do is remember that you are co-collaborators with this process. Be informed with the information. Go into your doctor's office and say, I don't want to be cut at all. Am I a candidate for a focused ultrasound? F-U-S. F-U-S. If your doctor says, um, no, I don't think so. And say, what about the assessor procedure? I hear that it is, you got it, you know. Go in armed with information and know the types of fibroid that you have that will require you needing an ultrasound and most definitely an MRI to tell you the location. It's all about location. Location, location, location will determine the type of treatment that you will need to handle your fibroids. So I hope this answers your question. Send me your question, uh, comment, like, subscribe so that you can get the latest video. And if you need any tailoring of this video, like, you know, that's not exactly what you're asking for. Just send me a message back and I'll get to you. Stay blessed, ladies. Keep fighting. I'm telling you, the greatest woman you have ever known is right on the other side of this battle. And if you're willing to fight for this, trust me, you're going to see that life on the other side, things are just going to open up for you in ways you had never imagined. So don't give up. Don't give up. There's always hope. Try, 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 and never give up. Talk to you ladies soon. Have a good one. Bye.